Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to color correct with red. Now I know that this is like a relatively new thing using red. A lot of women use red lipsticks and red, I don't know, cream based eyeshadows, etc. So Maybelline released their own version of a color correcting pen in the shade red. It's called the Maybelline Master Camo color correcting pen it also comes in pink green and yellow now the whole purpose of color correcting is to neutralize areas of your face which are of a different shade so that when you then apply your foundation on top it all looks even and natural and all one color now if you are Asian or have got very deep skin chances are you've got some sort of hyperpigmentation you've more than likely definitely got dark circles under your eyes whether it's from lack of sleep genetics or hormones reasons a lot of Asian women tend to get darkness around their mouths and around their eyes in particular now for somebody who is of my skin tone in Mac I'm an NC 40 um, today's video I'm going to be showing you the foundation I'll be using is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte in the shade 108 caramel beige I bought this in the US sometimes orange can do just a good as job orangey peachy shade but then there are women out there who are or a deeper complexion where orange doesn't quite cut it it can still make them look slightly ashy and that's where red comes in now I know that I sit kind of on the spectrum but just because I wanted to do a video that would help those of you out there that really wanted to try red because peach just doesn't work for you so I have got a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth that's probably just again genetics because I'm Asian South Asian and I've got a little bit of dark circles under my eyes now I'm not going to use loads of this because otherwise what will happen is if you use too much it will turn your foundation orange so that's why a little bit goes a really long way bear in mind that if you haven't got that much of darkness under your eyes don't feel the need to just go overboard for the sake of it so what I'm gonna do first is because I've done some of my eye makeup and in case you're wondering what's with all this it's Christmas Eve as I film this and I'm going out later as well I'm going to the cinema I'm going to see Aquaman and um, that's why I have Christmas earrings on etc but first I'm gonna prime my face let me just take out my nose stud and I'm gonna be using the Revolution Mattify and Fix Primer and I'm just gonna generously apply it all over my face thing is even though it's winter now wherever you go the central heating is whacked on full force so it's very easy to start looking shiny and then thinking hold on it's winter why is that so that's why I generally tend to like using mattifying primers personally okay so now that that is done I'm going to use the master camo color correcting pen I'm going to dot a little bit under my eyes and a little bit around my mouth area and then I'm going to blend it in and pat it in what I have found with this kind of technique is it's best to pat it down with your fingers and let it dry otherwise what can happen is when you start to apply your foundation because the product isn't completely dry you can drag it into other areas of your face that don't need color correcting and you will look orange good thing about this product is that it's got like a dofa applicator at an angle so it makes the swoopage easier on your on the contours of your face <music> This amount should really be enough for most of you if you've got more hyperpigmentation by all means use more but I don't know if you noticed I didn't I only clicked up the pen once I did not click it any more than that so what I'm gonna use is my Sigma 3d HD precision brush and I'm just going to start to blend it in by all means use your fingers alternate as well to pat it down whatever feels comfortable for you
how you should look like you belong in some sort of horror movie either that or if you had a fight with your spaghetti and as you can see I've just used my finger to kind of smooth it all out pat it all down I dragged it around a bit but that's because I was mucking around on camera so uh, most of you normal people probably won't do that but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to just settle on to my face so that is dry or as dry as it can be now for a lot of people you like to use a brush I understand when applying your foundation but what I've also found in this instance for the same reason as before using a damp beauty blender is almost better because whereas with a brush you kind of swoop it around again you start to drag that product into other areas of your face and it can slightly change the color of your foundation now if you use a beauty blender you're obviously pouncing it on your face you're not dragging it around so that foundation will just remain in that area where you have kept the color corrector i hope that kind of makes sense and the same reason for doing your under eye concealer as well so i've already shown you the foundation but the under eye concealers that i'm going to use today are from makeup revolution they are the conceal and define full coverage conceal and contours i'm using the shades c10 and c8 and then i'll be setting it with the revolution luxury powder in banana and then to set my face once I've done the foundation I will be using the Maybelline Matte Maker Mattifying Powder my shade is in natural beige just using this because I'm using a lot of Maybelline but you guys know my ride or die is my Too Faced Mattifying Powder but we won't mention that you should now look I am fully aware that I still look very very odd but fear not my friends <laughs> we'll sort that out so now I'm gonna go in with the concealer and do exactly what I did on the rest of my face makeup and I will come back okay so I am back the rest of my face is now done on my lips I'm wearing Maybelline's super stay matte ink in the shade pioneer number 20 and as you can see everything looks completely flawless the only thing that I would say is that using something like a color corrector is an additional step and it's also one of those instances where I find that I tend to apply a lot more concealer and foundation almost giving me an unnaturally flawless finish so just bear that in mind when you apply color corrector that less is definitely more you saw the amount I put on cut that down by half because I just put on loads for the purposes of the video just so that you guys could see how to use it in the most extreme circumstance even for somebody like me I would never need to use that much I generally tend to only use a tiny bit sometimes when I feel that I need it but I often just go for a full coverage foundation but again I just wanted to do a video for those of you out there that do really feel that they need color correcting and how to go about it how much to use how much not to use what the process is what the steps are and how to make sure that your face looks completely even and flawless 
so that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful like comment make sure you subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye